Good evening, we're here at the Real Deal Jamaican Restaurant here at 71 West Franklin Street, Hagerstown, Maryland. We're coming in to do an interview. We just got here. I'm excited. We've done comedy shows here before, but we never spotlighted this place. It's a great place to come eat, family atmosphere, and come join yourself. Come on, let's go. Push. It's coming into you here live at the Real Deal Jamaican Restaurant here at 71 West Franklin Street, Hagerstown, Maryland. We're here to promote a show and also to promote a local business here in the community. And that's just part of us giving back, me and Chad. Here with, my, with the man of the hour, the man always, the myth, the legend, Chad Beetle. How y'all doing? Okay. And we're also here with Karen and Ricky, Hi. proprietors, owners of The Real Deal Jamaican Restaurant. How's everybody doing today? Y'all doing we're good? good. Yes. We're good. Doing yes. good? Yes. Yes. God's good, huh? Yes, he is. Thank you for having us in this great place. I really enjoy being here. Uh, and we had a comedy show here, and I said, hey, we got to get you guys on in order for us to promote your restaurant more. And you're having another comedy show coming up this weekend, which Tab was going to talk about here in a little bit. We just wanted to come back and show you guys love for thanking, for bringing us into your home and for having us and our crew here to, to film this. Because it's, it's my first remote ever, so it's special to me. Well, it's my first, too. Is it really? And I wore my <laughs> shirt. Is. I wore my real deal shirt. Oh, you shirt. make me feel bad now. I know. You, you don't even have mine on. <laughs> Talk to Ricky about that. He'll get you a shirt. Ricky, uh, get, yeah, Ricky, I'll get a shirt. shirt. He'll get a shirt. Get a shirt. I'll, I'll get you a shirt. Because I felt left out. Like, I wish I had a shirt. Right. Yeah, I was like, well, where's my shirt? Right. So I couldn't want, so I had to wear my, my cowboy shirt. Well, I'll give you the shirt if you give me that sweatshirt. Oh, I'll give it to you. You, 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 know, what, you know you can have it. I still, hey, you know what? I still, I still have the tags in the back, so you can have it. So how did, you, how did you guys get started, and was it a dream, and how did it happen? First of all, how long have you guys you married? Yes. Yes. How long have you been married? 15 years. 15 years. Beautiful, beautiful. You get less time for murder. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Hey, you also institutionalize. Yeah, yeah, institutionalize. Yeah. No, no, no. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. That is a good thing. But go ahead. Tell us the story about how y'all got Real Deal started. And well, cooking has always been a passion for me. I started cooking at the age of six. And mm. um, when I met my husband, he actually, we were living in Frederick at the time. And he used to go to a barber shop every day and get his hair cut. And the guys always talk about there's no place down here to get good food. There's no Caribbean, you know, restaurants or whatever. And my husband said, well, yo, my wife can cook. And the guy said, well, everybody can cook. You know, you got to bring something in here one day and let me see what's going on. So my husband came home and said, baby, can you cook something for me? I said, for who? And he said, for a friend. And I said, I'm not cooking for nobody. And he said, no, listen, <laughs> make this for me, please. I need you. So I said, OK. So I made the food, sent it down to the barber shop, and ever since then it was a hit like I was servicing like five different barbershops every Friday and Saturday for like a year wow yeah like a year and then you know eventually what happened is one of the uh, people that had a restaurant down there heard about me and then it became like competitive and you know it just got to a point where I say I can't do this no more so then right. I stopped cooking and I went to work and then one day my husband came to me and said listen I'm sick and tired of you working for people we need to get a restaurant open I said well let's do it and we've been doing it now for seven years that is beautiful. That's amazing. You know, the power of will and what you can and can't do. And um, a husband and wife working together and, and, and building something together. That's, that's the thing. You follow a dream. I mean, she has a natural gift of cooking. I've tasted the food. I love the yeah. food. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank Wouldn't you, you say when y'all say? Thank you. So, so, so Ricky, you, you saw what could happen. Did you see it as a dream or how did that work for you? So for me, when I came to Maryland, from New York, I, I grew up on West Indian food. I, I was born in Jamaica, but I was raised in New York, mm -hmm. so from an early age. So the Jamaica accent can come in, same, same way. Right. But me shout can, out to Jamaica. Yeah, but Kingston, me, Jamaica. But, shout out. But, but Jamaica, I, Jamaica. Yeah, but, but, but true, I grew up here, I can yank. I, I know how to speak the language. So, but when I came to Maryland, I realized there was a problem, that it was so many other nationality was cooking Jamaican food, mm -hmm. and they wasn't doing it properly. Yeah. So when I was eating the food, some of the food, I was spitting it out, and I'm like, nah, this, this ain't right. We definitely have to bring something new to, 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 to Maryland. So, um... You know, like my wife told the story, we started out in the barber shop and 
you know, and then the, you know, the, the, the youth and the ghetto and everybody started gravitating to me. Mm-hmm. And um, that's how we really started. Then we came to Hagerstown, and then when they tasted the flavor, everybody fell in love, you know. So, you know, when you, when you have a restaurant, you got to deal with tradition. Right. You know, and it's just like right. uh, uh, it's just like jerk chicken. I'm, I specialize in the jerk chicken. Oh, yeah, you yeah. pass every day. You will see me out there on that grill yeah. jerking. But a lot of people they do it in the oven. But that's not the way to do it. Right. You understand? So if you're not doing traditionally, if you're not seasoning your food right, if you're not marinating your food right, you if you're not using the right it. seasoning, that's not. Or oh, oh, Jamaican Marinate. food taste. Right. You understand? So, welcome to the real deal. Mm-hmm. When you come here, you're going to get what you're looking for. Wow, that that is amazing. Sorry about it. Sorry to cut you off, but that's amazing. It sounds like you just won a title fight. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> so, so, my next question is, and we were just talking about this outside. Where do you see the real deal. We were talking about influences and how you want to make this more authentic, more upscale, a little bit older crowd. We don't. We, we yes. love for the young kids to come in and, and taste the food, but we don't. We, you kind of want to move it in a certain way. Just talk a minute about what you were just talking about outside. Sorry about this. Oh, so, so for me, I'm 53 years old. Mm-hmm. I've I, I done a lot of stuff where I see these young people do. It don't excite me. What is missing for me and what I see in this place named Hagerstown is nowhere for adults to come. It's nowhere for us to socialize yeah. and have somewhere where we call for ourselves. Right. You know, I love all the, the young people because I got 10 kids. You know, wow. but, but do I want to party with my kids? No, I Absolutely don't want not. I don't want to party with my kids. So I'm trying to bring back Grown and sexy, where you know old Jays and OJ's. old school yeah, yeah, reggae, yeah. where you see man and woman bubbling and, yeah. and turning their woman, you know, some some yeah. good times. So this is basically what I'm trying to create, and I got a surprise for y'all because it's not just this place. I got a connection where I have a ballroom where ballroom. yeah. So you know, I'm trying to bring my older crowd out so yeah I could have a place a lot of things in the works a lot of things in the works at in the, the works. real deal yeah. restaurant i was just i was just checking out you guys menu let's go over the menu let's let's yeah, have, let's have you tell what type of food we got up in here if y'all want to get jamaican style if y'all want to get jamaican style all right so jamaican popular dish one of our popular dishes oxtail yeah yeah everybody like that yeah oxtail. So, oxtail is like my biggest seller here besides the jerk no it's more. oxtail, it's jerk. Um, I got a lot of customers now interested in curry goat, which they weren't at first. Right. Yeah, at first it was like, who's eating goat? I ain't no goat. Now everybody wants goat. <laughs> Billy. You know, <laughs> people, people, people don't realize that cooking Jamaican food, it's a process. It is a process, you know. I'm in here at five o'clock every morning, you know, paving away at these in the, in the kitchen or stove, trying to get this ready. You gotta have love. You gotta put love in your food. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put the time in your food. You know, and I tell people all the time, if if you come in one day and you had something Monday, you come back on Tuesday, it don't taste like it did on Monday. Tell me, you know, maybe I'm not in love today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Things I'm like, yeah, I'm you know, Ricky yeah. I, I might have been mad today about something, you know, but the, the, the flavor and the food, you know, it comes from within. You know what I'm saying? And once love. your mind is right, once everything is going good for you, believe me, I mean, kitchen, you could do wonders in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all I've been doing is trying to do wonders here in Hagerstown. Wow, that's amazing. That's heartfelt, right? It makes me want a plate right now. How about you, Chad? We got you hungry? Man, I ain't hungry. Man, matter of <laughs> fact, you know what? Like, matter of fact, yesterday I came in and uh, I was just on a humbug and I was hungry. So I stopped over and I just got, got me a plate and I was ready to spend my little $15. I was all excited, like, yeah, I'm gonna give me some real deal because I like Jamaican food and I love it, but certain foods I, I, I I'm, I'm cautious on eating because you know what I mean. I like when people like to take the food and just throw it in your mouth and eat. Right, right. That's why I like the stewed beef and that jerk pork and mm-hmm. stuff. And I don't like that pick because every time sometimes you be picking, you be like, "Oh, there's a bone," so I be putting everything out. So I be I'm wasting worry food. About that. Come out. But when I eat the but 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna come out right. It's gonna come out. But when I eat real deal food, man, like I had I had the uh, brown stew chicken yesterday. 
yummy, yummy. I let it sit in the refrigerator for a day just because I wanted all the marinade because I know the love mm. that she put in there. Man, that thing was awesome. That Thank was awesome. you, Chad. That's awesome. Thank you. That's I awesome. appreciate it. It's awesome, man. And also, just to let the world know, the whole Hagerstown, all are welcome. Everyone from my, my black brothers, my white brothers, my um, Asian. Asian, you know, all my Mexic, my Mexican tequila, Corona, we got you. So if just come on in, just ask us, and, and if we don't have it, we make it happen. We go and find it and make it happen. So or like I said, all is welcome. This is your home. This is your place. The real deal, Jamaican restaurant. Wow, that was pretty good. He's gonna take. He trying to take my job. Let me hurry up and get this microphone back in my hand. I might lose my job. Pretty Ricky is what they call him. Pretty Ricky. <laughs> no, but uh, it, uh, as soon as you walk in the door here, everybody out there, you feel love and you you, you feel warmth. Um, when when the owners of a building come and they shake your hand, they see you. Um, it's something about that. It, it brings a home of hometown feel, and that's what Hagerstown gives to the Western Maryland. Uh, panhandle out here and uh, this is truly a great place but yeah if you ever want to come in in town and, and come and see Karen and Ricky here um, they always greeting their guests so and and this is the cook Ricky's the cook correct Ricky no, we I'm both, we both. Yo, cook. you're the cook I, I'm the jerk man you're the jerk man yeah I'm the grill man no, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, you the jerk man <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you want real deal jerk you got he the man on that jerk I see I see all right, guys, we're about to leave here at the Real Deal Jamaican Restaurant. Before we leave, let's give shout-outs, and we're going to let Karen handle that one. First, I'd like to shout-out to my assistant, Charm, Charlene Campbell. She is the best. Couldn't do it without her. Also want to send out a big shout-out to my daughter, Savannah. Most of you guys know her. She's been here with us since yeah, she's been, like, what? Since she was, like, 10 years old, behind this bar, yeah. doing what she does. Yeah. A lot of help. I want to thank my daughter, Shanice, my oldest daughter. She jumps in when we have these comedy shows and yes. any events. My son, O'Neal, my sister, Jackie, my family in Jamaica. Big up my brother, Kevin. Big up my aunt in Jamaica. Boop, boop, boop. boop, boop. We doing our thing here in Hagerstown, guys. Keep, stay tuned. We love y'all. We love y'all. Everybody that come and support The Real Deal, we love y'all. Keep coming, keep supporting. We just going to continue doing more surprises for y'all. But like I said, Growing in sexy, I'm Growing bringing sexy. it back. I'm bringing it back. Hey. He's bringing it back again, y'all. This work goes down at the real deal Jamaican restaurant, as hey, you can see. As, as, as you can see, hey, hey, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna tear it up. They're gonna tell, no, I'm good. I'm gonna, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. They're gonna tear it up. Hey, y'all, but make sure you get your tickets October 21st. Make sure you get your tickets October 21st for the Make Me Laugh Comedy Tour. It's gonna be here. Peace. Thank y'all. We love y'all. We're all out. Over and out. Cut.